In this video, we're going to address question number 19, which is making a correlation matrix with your data set. Uh, we also call the correlation matrix the pirate matrix. It's very, very simple to make, so let's get started. I have my data in my mini tab. I need to go stat. I need to go basic stats, and I need to come down here to correlation. And then I want all of the variables in the correlation table. I don't want index, right? So age, shift and hold, decrease in diastolic, select. That was age, shift and hold, decrease in diastolic, select. Okay, I've got to take one of those back out because I put it in twice. Age, shift and hold, diastolic, and select. Okay, that's all there is to it. Remember, you do not include index because it is not a variable. This takes just a moment to gin up. And a word of caution is all of this garbage right here, do not ever use this or refer to it. It's for us, it's not meaningful at all. Do not refer to that, okay? This is what you're after is the matrix. So you recognize that as being the pirate matrix, don't you? Okay, so we're going to copy the pirate matrix copy it and we're going to paste it into a word document and there you have your answer for 19 well it's part of your answer okay and this is a little weird but don't get freaked out about this see they have this last column which they would have liked to have put here but it wouldn't fit so now it's down here so it's a little bit awkward but it's still readable and you have this 632 right here which actually belongs over here do you see how that works this chunk of it belongs over here. It's perfectly fine the way it is. You can use it just like this and put it in your Word document just like that. Don't spend half an hour trying to get this chunk back up here. Not worth it. Okay, now while we're at it, let me show you the Excel version of the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to drag Excel into the uh, folder here. I mean the uh, screen here. There's my final product which is I think a really nice looking correlation matrix way better than the Excel one let me show you how I got this again this is completely optional which version you use but you have to do it either on Excel or on Minitab so I have my data that we all know and love right so we come up here we click data way over here on the right is data analysis now your computer may or may not have it depending on what version of Excel you have Okay, because um, it's an add-in. Some people have it, some people don't. So let me erase this first so it doesn't confuse the issue. Data analysis. Click it twice for some reason. Okay, correlation. Here we go. Correlation right there. Okie dokie. Now it says, what's your input range? Well, my input range is everything. So I need to start by deleting that. And then I come over here and click on the B and drag across. All right. See, I didn't have to go down because it chose the entire column. Did I choose index? No, I did not. I chose A, column B, through column J. Okay, you have to turn on this thing that says labels in first row. You've got to do that or it will not work guaranteed. And then for this output range, you need to click a spot on the spreadsheet that isn't filled with data already. And so, you know what? That looks like a really nice spot. So just one click on one cell and you're good. Click OK. And kaboom, there is your really nice looking uh, correlation matrix. And my computer is running on hamsters, so it takes a while. Now, before you copy and paste this into your Word, you want to clean this up a bit. Okay, so what I mean by that is choose all your numbers, like I just did. And let's see, click on the home. And we're going to bring those all down to four decimal places. So that already looks great, doesn't it? Nice and uh, clean. Now, look at this, decrease in what? You don't know what that is because the column isn't big enough to fit it. It's decrease in diastolic. So maybe you want to go D slash S and we'll change this to D slash D. Looks good, huh? And so let's do that up here as well. D slash S because otherwise you can't read it. Okay, good. So gender, you know, gen heritage, maybe you need to go gen H. Uh, veg, daily, daily exercise, maybe something like that to get your title small enough to fit in those cells. Gen H, veg, daily, daily exercise. Yeah, whatever, right? Okay, daily exercise. Okay, so hey, that is a really, really good looking table now. Instantly readable, instantly easy to understand. Okay, we're going to 
right click that we're going to copy it after i chose it right okay and then let's paste it in this can be frustrating okay so we choose a place in our word document you choose paste you choose paste special and i recommend you use picture okay picture paste it in as a picture there now you can't edit this in your word document because it's a photograph now so you've got to do all your editing in your um in your excel before you bring it over in there so again you copied it from excel right now we're going to paste it into our word document we're going to go paste over here on the left we're going to go paste special we're going to paste it as a picture boom looks great really really nice table and readable so then the question says you have to get in here and you have to find your three strongest correlations right that's measured in distance from zero and you have to find your correlation with meds that is strongest so you're looking at all of these on this row right and in this column don't forget the column because that's the meds column right and that's the meds row so you have to look at all of these up here exactly the same thing same numbers you read it the same way i just think this is a lot better looking